and I am very, very excited <laughs> to present a girl named Rosita because it is all about one of my favorite actresses, Rita Moreno. Oh, Rita Moreno, she's quite the icon. I just love her, Abuela Bear. Oh, did you know that she has an Emmy and a Grammy and an Oscar and a Tony? She is an ego winner because she won so many awards. One day, I too hope to become a trailblazer like Rita Moreno. Oh, how do you mean, Olivia the Ostrich? Well, well, bear. One day, I hope to become the first ostrich egot winner. Only four more awards to go. Well, if anybody can do it, you can. Oh, thank you. Well, hello, everyone. I was just listening in on the girl talk. Shall we begin? A girl named Rosita. And you're wondering, wait a minute, storyteller. You just said, uh, all the ladies were saying that Rita Moreno, Rita Moreno, why is it Rosita? Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> Ooh, first of all, pretty. Look at that island. I bet it's Puerto Rico. The story of Rita Moreno, actor, singer, dancer, trailblazer. But right now she's just a kid chasing a chicken. Mm. <laughs> Juncos, Puerto Rico, 1935. Wow, that was like forever ago. In a tiny cottage tucked between a Yunque Peak and a wild, fragrant rainforest lived a girl. A girl with the rhythm of the rainforest in her feet and the sweetness of the sugarcane fields in her swishing skirts. Swish, 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 swish. Step, turn, snap, kick, swish. Jump, twirl, swish, swish, swish. A girl named Rosita Dolores Alverio who loves to sing and dance for anyone who will watch her. And look at that, she has plenty of people watching, <laughs> even the baby's watching. And there's an abuela there who's hanging up some towels and that guy's really having a good time. Until early one morning, uh-oh, until something's about to happen, mommy whispers, we are moving to the mainland. But why isn't Francisco coming? asked Rosita. He will come later, says Mommy. I am taking you first because you are a big girl and you won't cry. Oh. Well, maybe. Sometimes big girls cry, but okay. So Rosita does not cry as she waves goodbye to her baby brother. Oh, that was her baby brother, Francisco, right there enjoying the swish swish dancing dancing kick jump twirl. That's got to be hard. In the dark, cramped cabins of the crowded passenger ship, Rosita is quiet and brave. Everybody's waving, waving. It's hard when you're saying goodbye and you don't know when you're going to say hello again, you know? After days of wobbly decks and stormy seas. Oh, oh stormy seas. That's rough. A statue of a woman wearing a crown rises up to greet them. You know who that is, don't you? It's the Statue of Liberty. She's beautiful. Where are the trees and the flowers? Asks Rosita. They will be back in summer, Mommy explains. Okay, so if you're a little kid and you just came from the tropical paradise that is Puerto Rico, that is all like beaches and mountains and palm trees and sun and flowers, and she was right by a rainforest, and suddenly you're in New York and it's winter time, it's gray and the, the trees are bare, so that is a big, big adjustment. Also, she's gonna be freezing for a while. That night, Rosita dreams she is back in the tiny cottage with Francisco. When she wakes, she does the one thing mommy thought she wouldn't. She cries. It's okay, kid. We all get homesick. Rosita's new school is a fortress of brick where children tease her for her accent, darker skin, and curly hair. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you? Ooh, your hair is different. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Mm. Corre, she tells herself each day on her way home from school. Run, so the bullies don't catch you. Out of the cold and away from the noise, she returns to a home that hmm, isn't home. Look at that, she's running. She's running. Corre, corre, run. In, up, and into the arms of her mom. She's got some bad homesickness, and she's feeling a little bit like a fish out of water right now. Have you ever felt that way? I think everybody feels that way at least 10 times at least. 
When is Francisco coming? Rosita asks. Ay, hija, says mommy. Pronto, pronto. That means soon, soon. If she only knew more English, English, she could tell the bullies, Dejenme en paz. Leave me alone. So, while mommy scrubs and scours and sweats and sews, Rosita practices English in secret. Is leaving behind her native Spanish like letting go of her native island and all the things she loves? Fields and flowers and Francisco? No, it's just picking up a second language. That's all it is, which I really love to do, to tell you to do because it just lets you talk to twice as many people. Rosita stops asking when is Francisco coming. Her heart tells her he will stay in Juncos with Papi and Abuelo and she will stay in America where she must learn to speak English. Day after day, she practices until she can speak English perfectly. I am Rosita. I am five years old. Oh, she's only five. Look at everything she's done and she's only five years old. Just as mommy promised, the leaves return in the summer. Oh yes, look at that, we're in Central Park and I've been on that rock and I've seen that building and that one and that one and that one. This is a real place. And, and it is beautiful in the spring and the summer. And color was brought to the concrete city, tiny glimpses that feel like hope. Rosita smiles again and dances. Central Park in the summertime is lovely. At six years old, Rosita begins dance classes. Paco Cancino is famous, mommy tells her. He is the tío, uncle, and teacher of Rita Hayworth, the movie star. <gasps> Rita Hayworth, she was a beautiful redheaded movie star. Dancing the Sevillanas, that's a Spanish dance. <laughs> Rosita is a bird rising above the rooftops, speaking a language that is all hers. Ah, the language of dance. Forward, forward, back, 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 pasada. Right, swing, back, side, hold, ole. After three long years of lessons, three years, that's a long time of lessons, Paco Cancino pronounces her ready to perform on a real stage. <sighs> the music begins. Stoom, trum, 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 trum. Rosita takes a breath. Clap, 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 clap. On stage, she is home. Look at that. And oh, is that the chicken she was chasing? It's kind of like the spirit of the island is still around her. See the sun and the birds and the butterflies and the chicken. It reminds her of home. Being on stage and dancing are all like home. So that's why she's surrounded by all these things that make her feel like home in this picture. And look at the audience. They are loving it. Yes. Soon, Rosita is dancing for the troops, acting on the radio, and recording Spanish versions of the hit Hollywood movies. Oh, why not me, thinks Rosita, seeing the studio starlet sparkle on the screen. I can be a leading lady too. Mm, she wanted to be Dorothy. That's what this picture is telling me right there. When Rosita is 16, mommy marries Eddie Moreno, and Rosita decides She's going to take his name. Ah, that's where we get the Rita Moreno part. But how do we get from Rosita to Rita? We still have to find out. She chooses the last name Moreno, not because she loves Eddie like a father. Mostly he seems like a stranger, but because it's easier for American casting directors to pronounce. And Rosita is ready to be a star. Then a miracle happens. Oh. Louis B. Mayer, the head of MGM Film Studios, wants to meet her. MGM Studios, that's the one with the big line. <laughs> big deal. Her palms are sweating as she shakes the hand of the man who can change her life. Sign her, Mr. Mayer says with one look at Rosita. Ooh, that was quick. Rosita Dolores Alverio Moreno is on her way to Hollywood. Fa la 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 Hollywood. By the way, what a beautiful room, right? Chandeliers, a big piano, proud mama. Very nice. And here we are at MGM, Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios. And there's her name. What, how did she become Rita? Let's see. In Hollywood, Rosita's name changes again. I think we're gonna find out. This time, the movie studio chooses 
Ruby Fontino, Marcy Miranda, Orchid Montenegro. Wow, those are some very exotic sounding names. Please, she prays anything but Orchid. Yeah I, yeah, I had to agree with that. I've got it, says the casting director. How about Rita? After Rita Hayworth. And from that day forward, Rita Moreno, she will be. How about that? So here she is taking lessons from the teacher who taught Rita Hayworth, and now she's going to be named Rita too. But it's kind of close to Rosita, Rita. So, you know, I, that's cool. That's cool. Rita Moreno is ready for Hollywood, but Hollywood isn't ready for Rita Moreno. Wah, wah. Years after teaching herself to speak perfect English, she must fake an all-purpose accent to play maidens, slaves, and Spanish spitfires. The only roles Hollywood will give to a Latina. Some days she wants to quit. I quit, but she doesn't. But she's come too far to give up. One day she will play an authentic character who is bold, proud, strong. In 1959, the newspapers announced that Hollywood is making West Side Story. Oh, it is only one of my favorite musicals ever. I like to live in America. Very big deal in America. It's one of my favorites too. The hit Broadway musical is being turned into a movie. This film, this part is everything Rita's been waiting for. She auditions for Anita, a proud Puerto Rican female lead. I mean, she's proud, she's female, she's Puerto Rican, so, right? For a month, she practices step, turn, snap, kick, switch, jump, twirl. Practice, 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 practice. Look at those moves, look at that line, look at that beautiful pink dress. When the test cameras roll, she is Rosita again, back in the concrete city. Corre, run, out of the schoolyard, pass the bullies in the streets, tears, anger, fear, and scene. That's right, that was acting. She was acting, she was putting herself back in her childhood and how she felt back then to play the role. That's what actors do. They use their experiences to bring to the role and make it real. Jaws drop at Rita's emotional performance. Then, cue the music. Horns, strings, percussions, step, turn, snap, kick, swish, jump, twirl. The role is hers. Rita is Anita. Bold, proud, strong. New York City, 1962. In barrios throughout the city, Puerto Ricans gather around their television sets to watch the 34th Academy Awards. No Puerto Rican, or any Latina for that matter, had ever won an Oscar. A sacred silence descends. A collective breath is held like this. <sighs> Who will take home the award? May I have the envelope, please? Rita Moreno in West Side Story. She won, she won. <sighs> she did it, her fans cry. I can't believe it, says a stunned Rita, clutching her golden statue. With the pride of her people on her shoulders, Rosita Dolores Alverio from Juncos has made history. Look at that, everybody. Ah, what a big deal, this is a big deal. Look at this, on the TV, all the TV sets in New York. Look at that, and Brittany's dancing, all West Side Story style even. And that's the end of the story and it was so good I wanted it to keep going. But you know, she kept on going. She is still going, still making television. She's amazing. And here, I love how this book gives us a whole timeline of all the things, the, like big highlights of her life. Did you know she had a, a tiny part in Singing in the Rain? I actually did not remember that and I've seen this movie uh, playing Zelda Zanders. Now I need to watch the movie again. Have you seen it yet? Oh classic. You're going to love it. Uh, let's see. She leaves MGM. She goes to the King and I, and she plays, and then, then there's West Side Story. And then she wins the Oscar for that. And there's so much stuff. Oh, here, here. President Barack Obama awards Rita the National Medal of the Arts. And in 2017, she's in the sitcom One Day at a Time. So even though she has been around forever, She's still kicking. Like literally, she's a dancer, she's still kicking. And here, the author leaves all these notes about her life. 
and how she still is inspiring her to this day because of her groundbreaking achievements. And that is a story of a trailblazer named Rosita. Oh, I love it so much. Now I want to see West Side Story again. Oh yeah, me too. And I want to see Singing in the Rain and I want to just have a Rita Morena Film Festival. Oh, that sounds actually pretty good. Oh, I would like to get in on that. I'll bring the popcorn. Oh, fabulous. And we can talk about how you are going to win your Emmy and my Grammy and your Oscar and my Tony Award just four to go so I can be an EGOT winner. We have to strategize. Oh, yes, I like how you think about a bear. Oh, I hope you enjoyed Rita Moreno's life story and found it as inspiring as this ostrich diva. Until next time, kid. Ta ta. Ta ta. Thank you.